you know, we felt it was all within us, but it was not to get it out, and there was a brave decision by the players to go for the game, and I think that's really what it won us in the end. Um, well, in periods of the game, you weren't playing well, um, but the amount of tackles that just put in Jai as well, that probably personifies this game. When you weren't doing well at times, you were still doing a lot of good things in the game. Yes, and, you know, I suppose it was disappointing that we got to... Um, Blown and a lot of those tactics, which you know, when I'm we'll have to try and have a look at the video and see what we've done wrong because we, you know, we've been doing that all year and it has to be in costume in the, in, the, in the lines of free. So, you know, again, maybe it was the wet slipping conditions and that type of stuff, but you know, again, as, as you said and alluded to, it was all about the honesty and the honesty and the character and the people and the character and the players and they showed it in, uh, in, in bucket in the last 20 minutes, especially. Do you look at some of those players that's missing, well, some of your key players that's missing today, Keaton, Clark, and a few others, given they uh, and Roy Don uh, didn't start. What um, it proved something to the, the, the depth of squad that you have. Well, it's what we've been developing for the last three to four years, and with the head of Calvin County Board and fellas on the twenty ones, and they're out on Wednesday. Those two of the lads that would have been playing in the first three league matches are playing on Wednesday. And you know, it's 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 it's, it's testament to what the county board have done at underage level, and it's testament to these lads that have come through the system. And you know, uh, we have uh, an abundance of talent in Calvin at the moment, and as a most, it's up to us as well to make sure that we can get the best out of them. Was there a wee bit of a lack of trust in the last tour today, uh, uh, Terry? Well, people keep telling me that in the, la in the four games we've played, we've had a lack of threat up front. Yeah, we've won out of them, but I think that was the least by five points. So I'm a little bit mystified sometimes why people come across with that one. Well, I felt maybe Eugene Keaton was uh, badly missed as a target man in front of the goal. Yeah, Eugene's a very, very good footballer, I suppose. And, you know, lads would look up on him when you're playing the type of system ball in the full forward. He is a very, very good winner of the ball. But, you know, we talk again about the strength and depth of the panel. And, you know, I mean, we have lads that start in and, like, you know, I think up until the day we'd used 31 players, and I think uh, that has stretched out now to maybe 23 players in the league in four games. Because it's such a hard fought win, did that make it all the sweeter? Well, it's. it's, it's if you look at I mean, every win is a sweet win for Calvin, you know what I mean? We've played four in the league, we won four, and we want to get promotion, we want to get out of this league, and we want to do that as quickly as possible, and we want to do it in the best manner possible. So, uh, from that point, it was very, very satisfying. You know, but in, in in the in the end of the day, we, you know, we are building and we are a team building, and you know, I mean, we have a lot to learn yet. Like we are, we are only at the start of our journey. We have a lot to learn yet, and we admit that ourselves. But you know, some of the mistakes we make, we cover by by being very honest and winning back the ball when we shouldn't win it back. You know, was well, that the most satisfying win of the current campaign? Well, I would say they're all satisfying. Every time you notch up a pint in the league, you get two pints up. That's the way it is. Next week, we'd move on to next week. Next week is another one to be won. Grodge, you had to suffer or endure watching Cavan last year on what was. Perceived to be one of our most successful runs in a long time. What's it like to be back? Oh, it's great to be back. I was just, uh, I was just actually thinking there this morning and I haven't played a home game in Bradford Park in near 12 months. So when he got back, when he was doing my rehab and all, I made, like, I promised myself that I'd enjoy every moment for Calvin and hopefully I'll stay injury free this year and hopefully we'll good one again. Do you feel yourself getting stronger? Uh, I do, I do. Uh, in all fairness, like Peter Donnelly's work tremendously hard on me. He was there with me most days and most mornings, most nights in the gym, and I can't thank Pete enough for all the work he did with me, so he deserves most of the credit for getting me back in the field there today. Ty would, Ty, Ty would Garoid made a difference to you last year? But Garoid, every player makes a difference, you know what I mean? You know, Garoid is a very, very good player, the more that we alluded to with you a few minutes ago, but unfortunately we didn't have Garoid. We had Garoid today, and he probably was the best player we had on the pitch today, but next week there will be some other player that will stand up, but you know, Garoid is always going to be a good player, but we have a lot of good players. Um, how, how important was it for Calvin when we went four points down to really show their character in that game there? Very important. We probably talked before the game that we haven't been behind yet and we were four points or three points behind there once in the second half. The boys didn't panic and chipped over a few scores and we got the result in the end. Yeah, the, the, the nucleus for that, Sligo in fairness to them, the first 15 minutes probably of the second half after your score, took a dominating position but Cavan from midfield when Torek Mooney came in beside you he's really one dominated breaking ball and kick out you know how important was that for you? Oh, probably very important probably talked at half time probably we didn't win as many breaks as we did and then we thought to start second half we would but unfortunately we didn't but then when the game was in the mitten point the wing backs and the wing forwards and everyone chipped in and got the breaking ball when it really counted and we got the result at the end which was the main thing. I can ask you about Martin Dunn. Martin missed the free early on, missed another chance, head in the hands. You know, a manager, maybe some managers maybe substitute, would have substituted him, but the fact that you know Martin Dunn so well, and he came good at the end, at the crucial stages near the end of the game, he did produce, he assisted for uh, a lot of crucial scores. 
give us a wee bit about Martin and what's, what he brings to the, the whole. Well, Martin's a finisher, I suppose, you know what I mean? And, you know, in fairness, I suppose, you know, Cheshman's coming up and we talk about top of the ground horses. Well, Martin's a top of the ground player, and, you know, these type of conditions might not necessarily suit his style of play because he's quick footed, he's good balance, and the conditions maybe balance things out. You know, you, you, are, you know, and again, it's a confidence fact. I think Martin, once he gets his, gets his eye and he gets his shot in, once he gets one or two over, his confidence kicks in and he moves on from there. We've probably seen it last year against our man in the championship, something similar. First 15 minutes, you know, he had to save with two or three bad wides, but again, he turned in the man of the match after that. And that's just the type of character Martin is, you know what I mean? Once it switches on, it just comes from yeah. Um, do you need to be in the top divisions to compete the, you know, for, for the, the, the big prizes, Terry, do you think? Well, well, I think one from one monster from Division 3 last year. Yes, well, I think you do because I think where it is, it's the top process. I think that the, the, the higher the divisions you are up in, the faster the game of football is, so the faster you have to think. And it's a thought process, and as I keep telling the players and telling everybody, it's, a, it's your brain that tells your body what to do. So, I mean, if you have to react quicker to what's happening around you, you get used to that. Yeah. So, you know what I mean, and it is from that process. So that's why it's so important for us to get up the, up the ranks. Is there any chance to get uh, Joe Bradley getting the season tickets for the, to go and come and watch us? Joe was very welcome. Mind him, he decides he want to come to watch us. We welcome mind him. I don't know if he has seen us playing yet. He's in, I seen us in Derry last year, all right, and I think he was happy enough with us when we left. Lads, <laughs> thanks a million. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.